So it's time for the monthly talk with Martin Jacobson, still the reigning champion of the world in poker. Martin, how are you? I'm great. How are you? Yeah, excellent. Excellent. I, I think you are in a new location. Is that right? Yeah, I, uh, I just moved, actually. Uh, the same day I, I got it back from Monte Carlo, I, I moved to a new place here in London. Okay. Uh, it's, not, it's not far away, but yeah, it's, it's nice. Yeah, I think it was the last time or the time before we talked about that. You we talked about the light, the looks that uh, is good for your person, right? It, it looks a bit brighter than the last apartment. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. Um, the the last um, my last home was uh, underground or uh, lower ground, uh -huh. uh, which is quite common here in London. Like a lot of people uh, live on lower ground because yeah. it's so expensive and. Yeah. Uh, and there's just not enough space for people to live. Mm -hmm. I think they're they're only allowed to build uh, three-story houses. Right. So there's not like a lot of tall buildings and uh, skyscrapers, uh, at least not um, outside the the central city. So yeah. So about a quarter of uh, the London's inhabitants lives underground. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, that's right. Uh, now uh, I met you in uh, Monte Carlo. How many days were you there for? Uh, I was there for ten days. Yeah, how was it overall? I know you had uh, you had a good run, but a bit of a disappointing end, right? Yeah, yeah, it was <laughs> it was bittersweet, you know. <laughs> uh, I somehow, I think I somehow lost money on the tournament. <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> yeah, because I, mean, uh, I was in for two bullets, and I uh, I swapped pieces with a lot of people, and uh, I didn't sell anything. So <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that was a that was a super tournament actually. The twenty five k that finished off the week in Monte Carlo or weeks um, it was some kind of record field there, right? Everyone was in there. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was huge. Uh, it was a bigger first prize than the the main event. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. It was something like one point one, and the main event had one point eighty or something like that, right? Yeah, yeah, it was close, but still. Okay, I saw, was it one player that knocked you out? Was it Steve O'Dwyer, I think, that had two hands for, on, on you? Yeah, you got me good there. Com uh, coming from behind, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I lost uh, a 7 to ace deuce, and then uh, kings to tens. Is it easier to deal with that, being, being, uh, having had some fortune uh, like six months ago? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it's... I think it's extra tough to take those beats when you're when you've been struggling for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, so obviously it helps when uh, when you just had a huge score and uh, you're a bit more financially secure. But of yeah, it's, it's always annoying. I just wish it happened the the night before because I had a flight booked that morning. Uh huh. So I had to book a new flight and uh, and then out. Yeah, I snap. Uh, I snap. Busted like yeah, half an hour, you know, <laughs> like yeah. two hands, boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, that's a shame. It was a really nice tournament. Yeah, uh, I was thinking. Um, uh, I met uh, some really nice guys down in in um, Monte Carlo that talked uh, very warmly about you. That's Adriano and his colleagues uh, from the Reg Charity Organization. Right. Yeah, they were there for a couple of days. Yeah, and I think you met them too. They seem to be a nice yeah. bunch of guys, right? Yeah. Yeah. You still happy with be, uh, representing that 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 uh, organization? For sure, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like it's growing every it's, day too. Yeah, there's a lot of people coming in there and and liking what they are doing and and their thoughts about it. I mean, yeah, it's a really cool idea. We're gonna cover that in the next issue of Poker Magazine where, where, with the interview with him and so on. Oh, okay, cool. Now, uh, Scoop has started just uh, last couple of days. Have you been able to play any? Yeah, I played. Uh, I got back two days before it started. Uh, moved in the same day. Then just sort of some. So I played three days so far. You played three so, three days. Yeah, it's Wednesday today, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Did I played. Yeah, I played. I played every day since, but I'm planning to take today off. Yeah, it's it's there. Uh, this is deuce to seven. Triple draw today. That's not yeah, really a game. Formats today. That. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Are they? Uh, did you have any scores? No, not yet. Not yet. No. No. Are you? I think. You, do you intend to play as much as possible, specifically the main? Maybe. Do you like scoop? Yeah, I like scoop. Yeah. Uh, well, it's. I like scoop, but I hate scoop. <laughs> it's it's so slow. It's really uh, it's really grueling, serious because. 
the events are, are so long. I think I play on Sunday. I played for nine hours without being in the money. You know, it's yeah, that's pretty. It's crazy. a bit too slow for my liking, especially in the beginning. I don't mind it like once you're deep, but I think it it could be. I think it could be faster the uh, the first few levels and then, uh, and then slow it out. Up. Yeah. Yeah, I could agree with you. Uh, I mean, it's it depends, especially, especially maybe the higher uh, events in a way because. Uh, well, I don't know. It's hard to say. I guess, you, do you play all levels or do you mainly play uh, the, the high and may, maybe the middle? Yeah, I play the high and the middle and then I usually late drag the, the low. Yeah. <laughs> do you still play the low, though? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. Why, why do you do that? Uh, because it's fun. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like to hear that. You know, there's so many that gets a lot of money and, and, and becomes a different kind of guy. I mean, you, you're the same kind of guy that you were before yeah. you won, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I focus a lot more on the highs, obviously, but uh, yeah, yeah, obviously. that's why I, I, I lay three down and kind of take a shot, and I keep I go deep. It's it's fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. I mean, uh, have you have you had any other plans? I know you have big plans for the summer's World Series. Uh, any changes of plans, or when are you going there? No, uh, same plans. I'm going pretty much at the end of scoop. Uh, so uh, on the twenty sixth of May. Yeah. The, the first event is on the 27th. Yeah. And you're going to play the whole way through? Play all, all no limit events. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Are you physically fit to play? Are you, do you feel physically well prepared? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's tough because, uh, like I said, Scoop and uh, like we just can't get off Monte Carlo and then yeah. Scoop starts straight away and then there's the World Series for seven weeks so mm. it's a tough stretch uh, these few months but uh, uh, I think it's uh, important to not burn yourself out during any of these like I felt pretty good in Monte Carlo yeah. even though I played every day yeah. Um, but yeah I just like during Scoop now I'm gonna try to take days off when I when I don't feel a hundred percent. Yeah, um, it's pretty cool that way because there are some days where they have like like today they have stud, uh, do to seven triple draw. It gives the no limit player a chance to have a day off, right? Yeah, definitely. Like I'm happy I don't play all those events because yeah. <laughs> it's tough to, tougher to take days off. Yeah. Okay. Excellent, Martin. It was nice talking to you. I, I, finally, I want to ask you uh, on this this edition's um, front cover of the magazine that you have. I think you've been on t two. Like when you won, and, and uh, six months before you covered our magazine, right? Yeah. Yeah. This this time around, we have Michael Turitz. He's also known as Punting Peddler and Shao Ren Online, and uh, he's a Swede that isn't that well known to other people because he plays only cash games. What do you know about uh, Michael? Uh, not much actually, <laughs> but uh, I do have a funny story with him. Uh, okay. When I made the final table uh, of the of the main. Uh, I got a message uh, before the final table, like he, you know, during that that break, I got a message from the the cage uh, supervisor at the WSOP mm -hmm. on Twitter, actually asking me if I had uh, uh, Michael's uh, contacts because he had forgotten to claim a cash for 2011. Okay. So uh, like three, four years ago. Uh, <laughs> So just out of curiosity, I, I went on his handle mob to to see what, how much it was and, and what event it was, and I think it was the 10k PLO8 or something. Yeah. And it was like fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> just just forgot about it. <laughs> it's, like, it's not it's not worth the walk. No no no, I'll pick it up once yeah. I come to that hotel. You know. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a funny story. Yeah, he's a nice guy, and, and uh, we have a good long story in this magazine with him. I also have a long interview with him, but it's in Swedish, unfortunately, for, for international viewers. Mm. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe we'll bring him on, like you, uh, having some kind of monthly video blog. It would be nice because he lives a pretty fun life, I think. Yeah, yeah, it would be nice to know a bit more about him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mixed games will never be your thing. Mixed games? Yeah. Cash yeah. games? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't think so. No. Not, not at this point. <laughs> I'm a no, no, of course jerk. not at this point. But maybe further down the road? No, I mean, like, I, I've been playing tournaments for so long now. Yeah, yeah. So it would be a shame to leave that experience, uh, your experience from that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 
from what I hear, like the games, even the mixed games and cash games are really tough now these days. So yeah. I don't really see the point in no. making the transition. Excellent. Okay, Martin, we have uh, some, some uh, interesting times coming up uh, in your try to defend your title. Yeah. <laughs> that is a pretty tough task. Do you think it's going to be more, more or less players than last year? Sorry? Do you think it's going to be more or less players in the main event than last year? I don't know. Hard to uh, say, say, huh? There's no uh, first prize guarantee this year, is it? No. I think they guarantee the thousand spots to be paid. Uh, so that's quite a lot. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know how that how that's going to change um, the, the event. base. Uh, it's a pretty big chance that you're, you're the second biggest ever main event cash prize after Jamie Gold from 2006 will be you for quite a few years ahead, don't you think so? Uh, hopefully not, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course it would be nice, but I mean the 10 million, it, it's hard to see that, that that number is going to be broken unless they have a guarantee. You know, like it was such a big gap from first to second to... Like, yeah, it's pretty sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was good timing of you to, to win that exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would say. Okay, Martin, uh, take care now and we'll talk more soon and good luck in the scoop and so on. All right, you too, man. Okay, bye. Bye.